All right, joining us for the score best of 2019, we have our heroes from the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. Let me introduce them one by one. From Jiu Jitsu, of course, you all, you all know Meggie Ochoa. Our skateboarder, Christiana Means. Our swimmer, Jasmine Alcaldi. <laughs> our triathlete, Kim Kilgro. All right, another hero from our Jiu Jitsu team, Carlo Peña. And our uh, champion uh, fencer, CJ Concepcion. Uh, hi, guys, and welcome to the score best of 2019. Oh, <laughs> okay, I, I feel like uh, I don't belong here because I'm the only one without a medal. Uh, but, but really, um, when you look at your accomplishments, you look at your medals, and you try and think about what you, what you did for the Philippines, what did it mean to you, Meggie? Oh, wow, for me, until today, I'm still overwhelmed. <laughs> like, it really, really meant so much because, number one, I love the Philippines so much, so, so much. And it's really a huge honor and privilege to represent the country and be able to fight here in front of everybody that was part of the journey leading towards that day. So it really meant so much. Uh, fighting in front of Filipino fans. You, you guys are used to like competing in different parts of the world, but to actually fight and win in front of Filipinos, I mean, how special was that, CJ? It's very special po kasi parang nabubus yung confidence mo. Kasi ang daming, ang daming taong nanonood sa'yo na may tiwala sa'yo na kaya mo yung gagawin mo. Kaya kailangan mo ring tiwala, magkaroon ng tiwala sa sarili mo na, oy, maraming taong naniniwala sa akin. So, bakit hindi ako maniwala sa sarili ko? So, maraming tao na nag-effort pumunta dito. So, kailangan ko din mag-effort para magbigay ng honor and glory to our country. Um, Christiana, uh, I think when people hear you talk, they'll, they'll know that, you know, you've, you know, you've been around the world. How, how was your connection with the local audience, with the local fans who watched you compete I mean, what kind of connection did you feel? Um, well, I was super surprised to, I mean, I, I was welcomed really quickly. Um, Wait, the, were you not expecting that? I wasn't. I really Why wasn't. Not? I thought that maybe I would have to, like, you know, maybe the first day, you know, maybe take it a couple of days. But I was really surprised that, like, straight off the bat, um, I, me and I had fans, um, just as many fans as Margie. It was, it was just really. It was overwhelming. I, it was nice to have, you know, people welcome me into this country and as a competitor and, and, and to, you know, be fighting for the Philippines. It was you know, a great honor. Look, that's like, the, that's like the third time I've heard the word overwhelming when it comes to competing in front of a home crowd, which is, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because every athlete, they want to compete before a lot of fans. Why can it be overwhelming, Kim? Well, I think it's because when it's your home country and you are fighting for your country and it's on the home stage, it, it adds that next level of, uh, well, pressure because you want to perform your best for the country, of course, but um, having that overwhelming sense of support, it means you have to show up. You have to give your best. I mean, when you're out competing abroad, uh, if you're the underdog or if you're not really known, uh, it's kind of like just competing in anonymity. but. When you're here, you know, it's like all eyes are on you. And of course, it, it gives you that extra energy to perform and to give it your best. But Jasmine, that also presents very special challenges. Like if you are competing and you have so many friends and fans, and that can lead to, let's say, distractions, which might not be evident when you are by yourself competing in some far off uh, country outside of the Philippines. Yeah, but I wouldn't say, like, especially for the people and the crowd and the atmosphere that we had here in the Philippines, I wouldn't say that it was a distraction. I think, if anything, it really just helped us. Like, for me, every time I swam, I said, like, I'm good And then, like, the people are just cheering, and I'm just like, okay, battery, uh, okay, let's go. Like, you know, it's not a distraction. It's just parang energy, added energy. I don't know. It's like you go out there. There was one time I was doing warm-up. In like day four, day five of my six day um, competition, and then I was so tired. And sabi ko, silip nga ako dun sa competition, like where the crowd was. They were trying not to amp the people. And I just walked outside, looked around, looked at the audience, and I'm like, 
okay, I feel better. I feel like ready. I felt strong. And I went back and I did my warm up. So it's like a true story. Like I feel like the atmosphere, the people, the Filipino people especially really helped us and did not distract us at all. So that so. energy boost, Car Carlo, did you experience that? Is that a real thing? Whenever an athlete says, Iba pagajan yung fans, ano, mas lalong lumalak, mas lalong tumatapang, lalo lumalakas. Was that something that you experienced? Yeah, I'll be honest. I felt a lot of pressure because, of course, there's like a lot of expectations, and then in the home court, and then because uh, uh, a lot of people wanted me to perform, and uh, of course, after after the event, it felt so good. But even before, like uh, outside the venue, when they were still not letting the people in i really went to like my friends there and the my family i wanted to say hi i wanted to like feel their energy because uh i i didn't want to let anyone down and uh for sure uh, i wanted to deliver for them